Number six hindrance to prosperity is stealing, cheating, and deception. As a matter of fact, we call it 419 lifestyle. And there are people, they steal from their bosses, they cheat their bosses, and they deceive people. There are scammers all over. Now hear this. God will not bless a, somebody who is stealing, cheating, and deceiving people. And because of this lifestyle, many people are not prospering. Number seven. Too much responsibilities. Yes. And many of us, the reason why we are not prospering is because we have too much responsibility. You think you are the economic messiah of your generation and of your family. You are the one paying your children's school fees, your sisters and your niece, your nephews, everybody in your village. You are the one paying their school fees carrying their financial responsibility. You are the one that you are paying off all the wedding bills of your family. As a matter of fact, you have become the financial king Kong of your family. Yet, your income is very little. And there are many of us, the responsibility that we have financially is too much. That is why we are not able to prosper financially. And you see that sometimes your wife will even be telling you that your responsibility is too much. And you seem not to understand. Your husband is telling you your responsibility is too much. And many of us, we have carried excessive financial burdens on our lives. That which does not even concern us. We get ourselves involved. That is why we are not prospering financially. The number eight hindrance to prosperity is disobedience to God's word, disobedience to the servants of God. And many of us, we are not obeying the word of God. In the book of Deuteronomy, when we disobey God, when we live in sin, when we walk in iniquity, it cancels the financial prosperity that God has ordained for us. Disobedience brings financial cases and financial hindrances in our lives. Then number nine hindrance to prosperity is negative confessions. You are always saying, I am broke. You are always confessing things are tough. You are always saying, ah, the government have messed up everything. You are always saying, they say, dear, she can't any crop. There is no money. Hear me. Whatever you say with your mouth, that is what will become a reality in your life. Every day when somebody asks me, how are you doing? I tell them, I am totally blessed. I'm enjoying God's blessings and God's abundance. The Bible says that life and death lies in the power of the tongue. They that love the fruit thereof shall live by it. Hear me and hear me very well. The Bible says that when man says that there is a casting down, you shall say there is a lifting up. Whatever you say repeatedly becomes a reality in your life. So don't confess negatively. Even though the economy is hard, you have to confess that God is meeting my needs every day. Negative confession is a hindrance to prosperity. Then number 10, demonic attacks and activities of Satan in our finances is also, an, is also a hindrance in our, our prosperity. And then number 11, no savings at all. There are people watching me. Whatever money they make, they spend everything. If you don't have savings, your financial, your financial future is not secure. So, lack of savings is hindrance to financial prosperity. And then, number 12, 
ignorance or lack of correct knowledge concerning your financial life. Listen to this. You must read books, educate yourself in the area of your finances. That is why anyone that is watching me right now, you must order my financial breakthrough package. It consists of several books that will educate you, that will equip you and empower you to prosper financially. The number 13 hindrance to prosperity is a poverty mindset or mentality. The Bible says in the book of Proverbs chapter 23 verse 7, As a man thinketh, so is he. I want you to understand that what occupies your mind is what reflects in your life. Many of us, we are always thinking negatively. We always have poverty mindset. That is why we are broke. As a matter of fact, the state of your mind is what reflects in your pocket. If you have poverty mindset, poverty will reflect in your pocket. If you have prosperity mindset, prosperity will reflect in your pocket. So, if you want to prosper, you must eliminate poverty mindset from your life. And then, number 14. Drunkenness and gluttony is a hindrance to prosperity. There are many people, they move from one spot to the other, one disco to the other, one bar to the other, wasting their resources, wasting their income. Hear this and hear this very well. Drunkenness, gluttony is one of the major hindrances to a life of prosperity. Proverbs chapter 23, verse 21. The Bible says that for the drunkard and the gluton shall come to poverty, and drowniness shall clothe a man with rags. So, drunkard, gluttony brings what? Poverty. That is the fifth hindrance to prosperity. And the fifteenth hindrance to prosperity. And the sixteenth hindrance to prosperity is this. When you love sleep and pleasure. Proverbs chapter 20, verse 13. Love no sleep, lest thou come to poverty. Open thy eyes, and thou shalt be satisfied with bread. Anybody that lost too much sleep shall not prosper. Hear this. God wants us to prosper. God wants us to increase. But there are many of us, these hindrances need to be dealt with in our lives in order for us to experience prosperity in our lives. Now, as I bring this broadcast to an end, I want you to pick up your phone. Call me. My telephone numbers are flashing on your screen. I want to pray for you. I want to speak a word of blessing over your life and over your destiny. I believe so strongly that your business shall prosper, your family shall prosper, in the mighty name of Jesus. Now hear this. Pick up your phone. Send me a WhatsApp message. Call the numbers flashing right now. Now hear this. I also have with me here my financial breakthrough package, which consists of several of my books, Principles for Financial Dominion, 21 Reasons Why You Are Broke, Unlocking the Secrets of All Creation, Deliverance from Financial Bondage, and then the Covenant of Financial Abundance. My announcer is going to come and give you more announcement on how to get my financial breakthrough package. No matter where you are, I can send it to you. Now hear this. Before I go, pick up your phone, place your order for the books, and also send me a text message, call me, and I know that as I pray with you, Everything you thought shall prosper. Now I release the anointing for prosperity over your life. Whatever that is hindering you from prospering, I pull it down. In the mighty name of Jesus, may you experience supernatural abundance in Jesus' mighty name. I can't wait to talk with you. I can't wait to hear from you. Call the numbers on the screen and also place your order, the financial breakthrough package. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you.
bye bye